<clears throat> okay, hello my good friends of YouTube. I've got a uh, coil just there with a lot, very large um, top load, toroid, and um, I'm actually going to try it on my, where are you, oh yeah, on my 150kV x-ray transformer just there, which has got a rectification output, so there's a, a good bank of diodes in there, and uh, <clears throat> so it'll be a DC output. And that is being powered by my RGBT from the Variac and into the input of the Tesla coil. As I normally do try it and run it on potential transformers, but for this occasion I want to try it on my 150kV just to see, uh, excuse me, just to see the output of the coil. Now I've just quickly tried this and uh, it works and um, it's not quite as powerful as, um, as running it off a of PT because it's a lot more current and uh, of course it's less voltage but of course it's more current but anyway I'm going to try this and uh, share this with you I thought and I'm going to use my um, tripod that Raymond Dool sent me with the phone holder and it, uh, it's a lot easier using this than it is by hand because it gives me two hands as Raymond said it's a lot safer mate of course so let's just make sure it's timed up let's see if we can get an output from this what is this silly camera doing right make sure that we're right there we go is that gonna so make sure because Right, the phone tries to zoom in because it hits the button. It's a bit wonky there because it's stopping it from pressing the button, but hopefully you're about to see it running. It's very loud, so uh, watch your earphones. Your earphones. Make sure to watch it if you're re using earphones. You know what I mean. Right, my ear protection on. Jesus, it's just the ozone, it, it's so strong. That was 60 volts into it, that was. If you could hear, if you could hear that, so I don't know if you could hear it because I had my earphones on, but I could just about make out the frequency as I was changing the frequency into the um, into the coil through the RGBT. But um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but um, this you can see a lot of corona around the, the toroid. You see a corona field around the toroid uh, just before it actually strikes out. It's uh, it's quite it's quite amazing to see off camera. But uh, it, it does look pretty good. I'll show you that just once more, guys. <laughs> oh, I've got it in the door. <coughs> it's just so strong. <laughs> really strong. <coughs> oh, Jesus guys, that was really strong, the, the, the corona is just absolutely mental. I'm going to have to actually try and see if I can give that a go actually um, when, I got, when I've got the coil outside because I'm going to give this coil a good run on the PT. I might try the uh, two of the um, 8.4 kV ones and uh, try it on that uh, on that top load. But uh, I had to take the actual top um, top piece off the coil because uh, whenever I was trying it, you was only getting little arcs like that because it was just hitting the ceiling so the arcs were just like about there and uh, it was quite close to the, the lighting fixture there so but uh, it does run pretty well oh it's flipping how messy is it isn't it I've got stuff everywhere that I've been trying out and doing but anyway yeah see that there I'm hopefully going to put that uh, insulator into this unit because uh, it would be perfect I think 
and I'm thinking about taking the transformer out of there and putting it into that because I was thinking about selling that but I might keep that and take the transformer out of there and put it into there because I think it would work it'll, it would actually be pretty good inside there it would work quite well but anyway thanks for watching guys look after yourselves be safe enjoy that little bit of a, an arc out there give you something to watch uh, we'll speak again yeah bye